Hi everyone, my name is Han, and today I'm going to talk about undocumented seniors. Before we start, allows me to go through the agenda for this presentation. So first, we're going to talk about why undocumented seniors. And second, we're going to talk about challenges faced by undocumented seniors in which I'm going to be presenting four typical challenges that undocumented older population are facing. And finally, we're going to come to a conclusion. So first, why do we why do we want to talk about undocumented seniors? Well, there are several reasons for this. The first is undocumented older adults tend to be left out compared to other immigrants who are younger. So we talk about dreamers or DACA. We talk about immigrants who come to the country to start businesses. And we talk about immigrants who marry U.S. spouse to be able to come into this country and get their status. But we rarely talk about the undocumented older population in this country. We also know surprisingly little about social resources or any type of benefits for undocumented seniors. Since we don't talk about them as much, we don't have any knowledge. We, we are not sure what kind of resources, what kind of benefits, or what kind of programs that they are eligible for that could benefit them and allow them to be able to meet their needs. Last but not least, limited access to humanitarian resources have prevented undocumented seniors in the U.S. from aging peacefully. So due to the lack of resources, not a lot of undocumented seniors are able to meet to afford to meet their basic needs or put the meal on the table or put a roof on top of their head. Due to all of some of these reasons, undocumented seniors deserve as much attention as the other population living in the United States from policymakers and researchers. Secondly, I'm going to talk about the challenges faced by undocumented seniors, in which I'm going to talk about four typical issues on this slide here. The first one is issues with legal and immigration status. So before I dive into this problem, allow me to ask you all a question. Why do undocumented seniors remain undocumented? There are several reasons for this. The first reason traces us back to 1996. The Illegal Immigration Reform and Immigrant Responsibility Act of 1996, or we call it IRA-IRA, signed by President Bill Clinton. The purpose of this act is to restrict the number of undocumented immigrants from coming into the United States. However, the effect that this act brought to us is on the exact opposite. The act also create what we call the immigration bars, uh, which increase the risk of deportation. So for example, if you stay in the United States without any authorization for at least one year, you will get you will be restricted from re-entering the con the country permanently for at least 10 years um another reason is the post the personal responsibility and work of opportunity reconciliation act of 1996 or we call it pro-wara this is it is also an act that's signed by president bill clinton and the act restricted older immigrants' access to federal benefits, typically um, accessing to programs that can ensure their basic needs. Um, another reason is a lack of access, lack of lack of access to resources and support, and finally, language barriers. So, language barriers and the immigration, immigration status would be the two major problems that anticipate to furthermore problems that undocumented seniors, not only undocumented seniors, but also other immigrants with different type of immigration status are currently facing in the United States. 
another problem is access to healthcare. With the rapid growth of the undocumented older population, resources like healthcare nearly become scarce. With the growing number of undocumented population, but with the limited amount of money for funding to help these individuals. It is challenging to for undocumented seniors to be able to find enough resources for them to basically reside or or live in this country. The undocumented population is also one of the most vulnerable to suffer from health hazards. And to demonstrate more about this point, we're going to move to the next slide. So, undocumented seniors are ineligible for services like Medicaid, Medicare, Social Security, or retirement. Um, they fear that their personal information might may be mishandled. Um, undocumented legal status, limited literacy, and lack of English proficiency also limit access to healthcare. Um, they also are more likely to be exposed to misinformation, disinformation, and the complexity of the healthcare system in general. Another, another problem is the lack of access to mental health services. Undocumented older immigrants are especially vulnerable to the psychological and physiological effects of trauma and stress, which leads to the increase in their risk for chronic physical and mental illnesses. Furthermore, according to the American Society on Aging, more than 40% of undocumented seniors don't have health insurance due to the unavailability of healthcare benefits at their jobs. Next problem is economic challenges. So aging limits their ability to perform their works. Um, as we know, aging comes with age-related health conditions, and it is inevitable. Inevitable. Their pro their poverty level is higher than their younger counterparts with undocumented status. So, um, even with the same undocumented status, the older population tend to live in a high level of poverty compared to their younger younger ones um, at the level of 138 percent of the federal poverty level. Undocumented seniors are also left in vulnerability despite contributing to payroll taxes and the lacking they also lack retirement plans and life savings due to low paying jobs. So Due to the ineligibility of for social security, um, they may not be able to provide to be provided retirement plans. And the final and the final typical problem in this present presentation is um, social isolation. Undocumented seniors are subjected to racism, discrimination, stressful circumstances, and fear of deportation. Um, they are also bound to loneliness due to little to no English literacy and unfamiliarity with the health care or social benefits sy systems. Um, due to this, these reasons leads to the lack of social connections and also that so this is why language barriers and um, and immigration status contribute a lot to a to a lot more problems that they are facing now because they are among the minorities and they don't um, and they are also in a new environment new country therefore it is challenging and it is extremely difficult and extremely hard for them to find the right resources or even find the right community to for them to be able to help to find help but just to connect to to the others another 
break another heartbreaking point of this presentation is that um, according to American Society on Aging, neither the system serving older adults nor those serving the undocumented population are prepared to work with undocumented older, older adults, which means they won't be able to find a lot of resources out there since not a lot of organizations are not prepared to work with them. So you might ask, where would the resources be? Well, in terms of law, we there are the Lift the Bar Act, which is an amendment to the personal to the Personal Responsibility and Work Opportunity Reconciliation Act that was introduced in 2023. Um, this this new act restores access to programs like Medicaid, SNAP, or SSI Supplemental Security Income by removing the five-year bar and other barriers. So the five-year bar, which is mentioned is in this slide, is the bar that um, restricted undocumented immigrants or um, other immigrants from receiving programs like Medicaid or SNAP in within, five, within the first five years of them staying in the U.S. So the Lift the Bar Act helped fix the the have fixed some of the features for some of the effects of the um, personal personal responsibility and work opportunity reconciliation act or PORA of the 1996. In terms of healthcare. There, we have Medicaid expansion program for undocumented seniors age 65 or older. Previously, undocumented, undocumented Im older immigrants are only eligible for Medicaid in terms of emergency. However, with the Medicaid expansion program, um, they can be able to receive comprehensive health care so service provided by Emblem, Emblem Health. So more about Emblem Health, it is one of the largest national nonprofit health providers and has been active as a health care provider for about 80 years. Um, another point of the Medicaid, Medicaid expansion program is that this program do not, does not cover non-emergency transportation. Um, Last but not least, in terms of food and um, financial assistance, there is cash assistance programs. One of the example is the cash assistance program for immigrants um, in the, of the state of California, or we call it, or they call it CAPI. Um, it is a California program that provides cash assistance to low-income seniors and persons with disabilities who are not eligible for federal SSI due to their immigration status. Um, all, all, furthermore, undocumented seniors may be also eligible for Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, or SNAP. In conclusion, it is important to remember that the undocumented older population as much as other US populations and immigrants with different types of, of status are contributing equally to the country. Hence, they deserve to be treated equally and be incentivized with a reasonable amount of benefits and privileges from which the undocumented seniors will be able to meet their basic needs. And also, it's also rem important to remember that at Retire Safe, we stand we standing up for the seniors. Finally, thank you so much for listening to this presentation. If you enjoyed this presentation, please consider donating. Any donation made to Retire Safe is tax exempt under Session 5, 501c3 of the Internal Revenue Code. Thank you so much and have a great day.